So this is Leatherhead, um, so we're in Surrey, um, which is like south of London. Um, and we're currently building a build-to-rent scheme, which is um, situated near the railway, so it's close connections to London. Um, and we're building um, affordable homes as well for um, the public of Leatherhead. We have the cooler cranes here um, instead of the tower cranes, uh, just because of access and movability of the surround site, so we can move materials. If we didn't have the two cooler cranes, we probably had, would have more tower cranes. Um, obviously that might take up more space and obviously might be more time consuming to build and take down. Uh, we've got two LTR 1060s, so two telescopic 60 tonne crawlers. Uh, we've got a lot of pick and carry due to, due to the length of the site. At the beginning of the site we had to track even 100-200 metres from one end to the other. Uh, picking up shutters, transporting them to that end of the site, uh, building columns and so on. So that's why we've got two cranes in order to facilitate speed. I, you mainly work with the main, most of the boom out. We've got 392s and 146 out usually. Now I've got 392s out just to be able to reach most of the site without tracking so much. primarily used on this site to, to cut costs really on tower cranes because we don't actually need tower cranes throughout the project. Once the concrete frame's finished, we can then lose the cranes and then just be using them back to forklifts for traditional build. Um, benefits of using the crawler cranes, they, um, they're, they're quite manoeuvrable. You can get them into positions that normally a tower crane mightn't be able to reach. It was a bit of a test originally, yeah, but again, it was driven by cost, so we have looked at it thoroughly to make sure that this is the most cost-effective way of building the job. If we did have similar type projects, we'd definitely use them again. Uh, Cost-benefit to the company. I prefer LTRs to most cranes, as well as LRs, but LTR is my favourite. You can adjust the speed on both on the slew, on the jib, on the hoist, on the boom, so you've got a lot of Depending on the type of operator you are, if you like it a bit slower, a bit quicker, uh, you can adjust that fairly easily. You can put in free slew, which helps in certain lifts, uh, especially if you're doing, for example, tandem lifts, as, as you just mentioned. Um, the configurations as well. If you know your configurations, like uh, you limit your deflection. Uh, the radius is fairly far away as well for such a small crane. You've got a 40 meter boom at full length. So it's, it's very good in terms of reach, weight as well, what you can pick and carry. You can all work up to a four, four degree gradient as well, which is handy. It's very uncommon, but it's handy to have it there and you can adjust the correct charts to be able to carry out stuff like that. Yeah, it's just a matter of speed, reliability, and just maneuverability around site. I love the LTR.